A young mother says she is fed up with the violence that could have taken her or her son's life. A bullet fired in her Akron neighborhood ended up in her living room. The city already dealing with a surge in gun violence and murders this summer. As Bob Jones shows us, detectives say teenagers are responsible for creating this latest chaos. Chanel Crawford moved into this house on Dover Avenue in Akron just three weeks ago after living in Barberton for 11 years. She considers it her dream home, but what happened here last night was a nightmare. So I heard pop, 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 boom, 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 boom. That was around 7.30 last night, and just five minutes after, Chanel got up from her living room couch and walked into her bedroom. My reaction was to duck jump off my bed and duck. That's how close it sounded. The gunfire erupted from just outside Chanel's home. I got a 12 year old. Thank God he's not here. One of the bullets pierced the siding, whizzed through the living room and lodged in a wall near her kitchen. The bullet hole is still in the wall. Police say teens shooting at each other created the chaos. A driver witnessed part of it. There were shots fired across the street. How many shots did he fire? Uh, probably about, um, Five, at least. Police say two suspects were arrested, 17-year-old boys who were hiding in a nearby home. Two loaded guns confiscated, but Chanel remains frightened. I'm still nervous. I got anxiety. Uh, I, I, yeah, I'm nervous. I can't sleep. I'm paranoid now. Akron police are planning to dedicate more resources to the streets as the city struggles with a surge in summer gun violence. Some got to give. Why take each other? Why? Why want to hurt each other? And now Chanel says she has to decide if she'll stay in her dream home. Ain't no name on that bullet. It want no name on that bullet. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5.